This presentation is brought to you by Ingenico. Today you're going to learn how to download an ICT 200 series terminal by simply using a USB flash drive. Once you understand this process, you'll be able to download the payment application, operating system files, and even key injection files, all in under one minute. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need is either an ICT 220 terminal or an ICT 250 terminal. In addition, you'll need the power supply as well as a USB flash drive. The USB flash drive should be one gigabyte or higher. It should contain the application and file structure given to you by Ingenico. It's important to note not to alter that file structure in any way as doing so could adversely affect the download. The first step is to power up the terminal. Connect the power supply into a wall outlet or power strip and connect the other end into the back of the terminal. Once the terminal is powered up, connect the USB flash drive into the USB host port in the back of the terminal. You'll now need to restart the terminal. Do this by holding down the clear key and the punctuation keys at the same time. Once you've done this, you'll need to hold down the F4 key or far right navigation key on the terminal. Once the terminal analyzes what resides on the USB flash drive, you'll see a list of applications that reside on it. Use the arrow keys to scroll down and up to select the application you want to download. Once you've found your application, select the Enter key. The terminal will now download the software. Once the software is downloaded, the terminal will restart. The terminal prints out a receipt to verify the application downloaded successfully. This is your indication that it's now safe to disconnect the USB flash drive from the USB host port. For more information or help troubleshooting this process, please contact your Ingenico customer service representative. Congratulations! You have successfully completed this tutorial. Thank you for choosing Ingenico.